What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the Toggle Elementor widget, okay? So, what is this element? This element, it's commonly used, for example, right here into the visualmodel.com website, into the frequently asked questions, okay? You can see the Toggle element in usage right here, okay? So, you click on the into an anchor, into a, into a title, and it expands a part of the content that you can read. It's perfect for show extra features of an element, for example, to use into a FA key page. So, how to use this element on Elementor WordPress Page Builder plugin for free? But before we can start this guide, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? So let's go to the guide. We're gonna start into the WordPress dashboard, okay? So from WordPress dashboard, make sure that you have Elementor WordPress plugin installed on your site, okay? And let's go to the page. Go to page, add new. into the top side of your site, you're gonna be able to see this button, edit with Elementor. We're gonna click on it. We are loading the Elementor editor. Now, as you can review, into the left side of our screen, we have a panel with widgets, and right here, we're gonna search for Toggle or we're gonna scroll down until we can find the element. Let's search and type. Right here. Here is the element. I'm gonna simply click, hold my mouse button, and drag it and drop in the place that I want. For example, right here. And here we have a toggle. By default, it did add two with some lot and ipsum text on it and a title. Let me make this content bigger, this side bigger so we can review better. So the toggle one, I can change the title, for example, to number one. I can change the text right here. I can apply as many texts as I need. So no need to worry about the amount of text. As you can review, we have the complete WordPress editor. We can add media, we can apply a paragraph. Let me edit the other one, the toggle number two. And right here, I would like to apply some media, for example. So let's try to apply a content right here. So, as you can review, we can apply elements inside the toggles, okay? So, as soon as you have the content in the way that you want, let's imagine that you want this content for your toggles, we're gonna start editing the other parts. Just a note, in the case that you want to apply a new item to your toggle, for example, a toggle number three, click on it, and you're gonna have a new toggle, okay? You can delete using this button, and you can clone using this button, in the case that you like the previous toggle and want to start with a ready one. Now, you can have an icon, you can upload an SVG or go to Icon Library. Here is a good example of the toggle icon. Click on Insert. And as you can review now, we have a button. The Activate icon. You can upload an SVG or go to the icon library. So, we have the active icon that changes from the linking icon. We can change the HTML title, no need to worry about it. We can use the FAQ trim, okay, so this is very good 
for SEO purposes, okay? So what we recommend that you try to use this in the case that you are doing a FAQ page. This is good for SEO, okay? Now we have the toggle in the way that I want. Let's go to the style panel. Right here, we can change the border widget, for example, in the case that you need. You can change the border color, for example. You can change the space between the elements, okay? The box shadow, you can apply some shadows in the case that you want. The title, we can change the color of the title. The active color for the title. The typography. So we can change the font family the size of the font, the weight, text transform, style, for normal, italic, okay? The decoration, the line widget, the, the line H, the line spacing, and the word spacing. In the case that you want, everything can be edited, okay? And this is only for the title, okay? We can change the icon, Move the icon to another side of the screen. Let me zoom out so you can see the difference. Or to this side. You can change the color and the active color for the icon. And of course, apply some spacing to separate. Same thing for the content. We can change the background of the content in the case that you want. For example, You can change the transparency for the background in the case that you need. I'm gonna set this as white again. And now you can change the typography just like we did on the title. After this, we can play with paddings and spacings options. And if you go to the advanced, you can place with the margin padding and widget in the case that you need. We can change the position, apply some z-index, use your other options, for example, the transform, the background, and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress team. In the case that you are in need of learning something new about WordPress, SEO, marketing, and everything related to technology, go to visualmodo.com and review our blog. In addition, in the case that you are looking for an amazing free WordPress theme and an awesome free WordPress plugin, go to visualmodo.com or go to wordpress.org and search for Enzo WordPress theme and Borderless WordPress plugin, okay? Those are the best free tools that you can have for free on your website. It gonna give you Lots of options to create an amazing website without paying for it. Whoever, in the case that you are, we need of something faster and want to start with a previously made amazing website like one of those templates right here, go to visualmodo.com and explore the pro version of Enzo and Borderless WordPress plugin. So you can start with a ready website just like one of those ones right here. 
And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I see you tomorrow. All the best.